Hi, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Joanne's Doggy Schmacks. Today we're making banana peanut butter oat schmacks, and we're going to be using this lip shape cookie cutter schmacks. Uh, I'm really proud of these particular dog treats because they are tasty and very healthy. But before I get into everything, I just want to give a shout out to Kate who did my makeup today. I think it looks great. Love my eyebrows. Uh, her name and her Instagram account are in the credits. So let's get started. First thing, two bananas. Everybody has ripe bananas. They don't actually have to be that ripe. Just ready to go, ready to mash, and be mixed with your dry ingredients. Cool thing about bananas, they have a lot of vitamin C in them. Did not know that. They're a fruit after all. Vitamin C contains antioxidants. I'm learning about antioxidants. They're very neat. They f uh, fight free radicals. I never knew what a free radical was. And they're kind of big bad boys. And they affect people and your pets too. And I was learning that they come from pollution, stress, cigarette smoke, medicine. Uh, some of those things m may not be relevant to your puppies, but pollution is kind of around for all of us. So I think it's really neat to have a dog treat that's tasty and healthy. So bananas, well, it's not, not mashed very well. Let's just mash that better. There we go. All right, we're pushing that aside. Then we're gonna use a mixture of oat flour and whole grain oats. Turns out oats also are antioxidant. So we're gonna use two cups of oat flour. And we're gonna do one. And even that off a little bit. Well, hello there. I didn't know you were here. That's Moose, by the way. He's our visiting schnauzer. Are you gonna be a taste tester today? I think he might be. He's actually looking to test already. Oh, because he loves bananas. That's what you smell, big boy. All right, so that's the oat flour, two cups. Then we're gonna mix in one cup of this one minute quick oats. Mo mostly everything here is gluten-free and oats are considered gluten-free, but the fact of the matter is there is a minimal amount of gluten in here. So if you're celiac or if your dog has problems with gluten, be cautious about using oats that are not labeled gluten-free. And I forgot that I pre-poured this, so we're gonna put this one cup of whole oats in there. And they're actually whole grain rolled oats. And just to get started, let's mix that together. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of chia seeds. Once again, antioxidant. Let's sprinkle those in there. We are using a teaspoon of cinnamon because dogs love cinnamon go and then the fun part peanut butter make sure it doesn't have xylitol because xylitol is poisonous to dogs uh, this peanut butter is totally just peanuts I made the mistake of getting chunky and it's advised that your puppies don't have uh, chunky peanut butter so I put it in the blender and made it smooth and then put it back in here so you could see so we need a half a cup of this. Hopefully, yay! <laughs> I was gonna say, hopefully it's gonna pour out of here. You guys don't wanna see me struggling with getting peanut butter out of a jar. All right, whoa, I think somebody likes peanut butter too, Mr. Moose. Is that true? And if I had a spoon, which I thought I did, this would be easier, but we'll use the fork. So. I'm putting the peanut butter in here. We've got two tablespoons of honey coming up. Then we're gonna put the banana in there, mash it all together. 
and roll it out and that's pretty simple and then cut it out so let's get this in here and we're going to put this in the honey we're cleaning off our tablespoon okay one yikes and this is honey from a friend up in sacramento it's really really yummy and honey is also very good for your dogs. Antioxidant once again. This is like the anti-free radical dog biscuit. So okay, we're gonna take this out and mix that around. And right now you're saying, how is that ever gonna come together as a dough? Which is what I said the first time I made this. And then when I put the banana in, it all came together. So hopefully that's what's going to happen this time too. So here we go. It was actually a really cooperative dough. Um, I think it's easier to get it started in the bowl and then put it on your board and use your hands to kind of smush it together because you've got the honey in there and the peanut butter and it really just wants to be smushed together. So let's start here. I need a lower counter, you guys, or maybe I need to be taller. Let's see, ooh, I do have a stool I could use maybe in the future. Okay, yeah, I can feel the peanut butter in here. This is perfect. All right, we're gonna dump it so that I can finish it off here. Put the bowl out of the way. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything this time. I think one time I had some dry dough and I'd forgotten to put in olive oil. We don't even need olive oil for this because it's so nice and moist. <laughs> right now, it looks like a mess, but it's really not. And dough consistency, consistency can vary depending on where you live, depending on what the atmosphere is like, your altitude, the heat, moisture so many different things so you can always add or subtract wet or dry ingredients to make it work for you so this is seeming to be a little sticky which is weird okay let's just start smashing it down i think i mentioned in a previous uh, video that i also work with clay so right now i feel like i'm working with clay and or I feel like a little kid working with mud. <laughs> How could you be so unwilling to come together? All right, I think we're almost there. It's crazy, I might actually add a little bit of oat flour. So pardon my hands, I wouldn't normally, well, let's just jump this a little bit. Let's do this and see what happens. Okay, that consistency is better. Uh, we're gonna use the rolling pin. I have a special rolling pin uh, for any dog biscuit I make with peanut butter because if I'm sharing with other people, I don't wanna use a rolling pin that has had peanut butter on it just in case their dog has a peanut allergy. So this is my heavy duty rolling pin. It's almost a weapon. I need a helper just to hold my, my mat. All right, so we're looking for a quarter inch and this is still a little sticky, you guys. So I'm gonna put a little bit more oat flour on here. And please don't raise your eyebrows and say, oh my God, I'm never gonna make that, it's so hard. Let me tell you, I made this two days ago and it was 100% perfect. So I don't know what, changed here like I said humidity can affect something 
but the proof is in the product and the dogs love it and it's super healthy, fights free radicals. And I think it's time for us to cut some schmacks. My hands are a bit of a mess and I could go wash my hands, but we're short on time. So we're just gonna make some schmacks and we're gonna use the wiggle technique so that I can pick up my schmacks and put them on my baking tray. Uh, but I'll be right back. We need the baking tray. Okay, wiggle. And with these, this particular cookie cutter, you have to be really careful not to press out from the middle or it will break. But this is kind of a nice size too and a nice shape. The dogs really like these. And they're not going to be that long in the oven. It's 350 degrees preheated, 10 minutes, and then flip for another 10. If you want something that's drier and lasts longer, what you would do is lower the temperature and cook it longer. Okay, so let's do this. Our visiting schnauzer is uh, getting comfortable. He's like, when are they going to be ready? Right now they're starting to look a little bit like mustaches instead of schmacks, but they'll be just as tasty. And I have a lot of dough left, but I don't want to bore you guys. So I'm going to put this in the oven and turn this into training treats and I'll be right back. So the schmacks are in the oven and they're going to bake for 10 minutes. And while they're baking, I'm going to use the remaining dough to make training treats. Why are they training treats? Because they're smaller. You don't want to be training your dog to do various things with giant sized schmacks. So we're gonna flatten this out. My fingers are clean, yay. Took the opportunity of the break to wash my hands. New technique, karate chop your dough down to the ground. Here we go. Much better, right? All right, so we're gonna roll that out flat and then we're gonna use the pizza cutter to make our small little training treats. So here we go. <laughs> These should be outtakes. This is like silly, except that this is real life and they'll be wonderful. Okay, here we go. So put the weapon aside and we have our handy dandy pizza cutter. And we're just gonna go back and forth in a crisscross pattern. I don't worry too much about being even because sometimes you need tiny little thank you treats or rewards and sometimes you need some that are a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna go one more that way. Don't worry about the rough edges. Come back this way. And then we're gonna use our spatula to put them on the pan, hopefully in clumps, so that they're easier to flip when they uh, get turned in the oven. All right, I'll be right back. Here we go. Let's see how successful we are with this. I hope you couldn't hear me sigh on that. <laughs> that was hard work. Okay. Oh, moose, don't eat that. It's raw. Too late. It hits the ground. It's done. There we go. I prefer my treats to stick together like this when I put them in the oven because it seriously is easier to flip them. And that's our last batch. Whoa, you came back for more? They're not even cooked yet. Okay. Training treats going in for 10 minutes. I'll be right back. And here we have it. 
banana, peanut butter, oat, cinnamon, chia, schmacks. And we have a tester waiting in the wings, and his name is Moose. Uh, he's a standard schnauzer, and he's visiting, and he doesn't know what he's in for. He's about to find out. Mr. Moose, would you like a treat? Come on over, big boy. Come on, let's get, get a treat. Come on, go, go, go. Good boy, good boy. Have a seat. Good boy. Whoa, that was an eager grab if I ever saw one. These are very healthy uh, schmacks. Recommend them for your dogs. I do still have to test them out on Tori and Jake, and I'll be right back. Come over here. All the way over, come over, sit. Oh, I love when you sit pretty, you're so adorable. Tell me what you think. Okay, he's eating it, I don't know if you can see. Oh, he's devouring it, not just eating it. Tori, you're my more delicate eater. Can you come over this way? Let me see what you think. Oh, enthusiastic. That's fabulous, that's a first. She's Miss Picky. All right, Jake, come here. Okay, we have a hit, you guys. Healthy, happy puppies, even Tori. Thanks for watching.